Okay, so I changed up the styling of this a little bit. So if you want to follow along, what I did is I got rid of bold and then I made the font size 40 to bump it up. And then I'm going to use this blue color here to accent. Now I'm going to still use white for default, um, but I'm just showing you guys the blue that we're going to be adding. So now, like I was talking about in the last video, I want to change the color of this depending on what the current input state is. So our three states are append, um, push, and uh, what was it, replace. So I'm going to do a new style for each one where the color changes. So for replace, I'm going to make it blue. For push, I'm going to make it green. And for append, I'm going to make it white. So FFF. And then for pushing, I'm going to use the same green we're using for our button, which I have on the special. And then all I'm going to do is create a base, const base number. And it's going to have these styles that we're going to have shared across all of them. save and now I'm just going to pin the styles to each one base number so now down here uh, these guys are going to just use the append style whereas this one is going to depend on what the input state is so input state so when the input state is let's save that so it pops back up so the current input state is replaced, so we see it being blue there. And then as I push eight, we're now at a pen mode. And we don't ever get to push mode, so we don't see the green pop up, but we're gonna be seeing that um, in this video because we're gonna be implementing these guys right here, the vision X minus plus. But before we do that, I wanna just add this little dot. I'm gonna make him an on press um, as well. So now we can uh, press him, and I'm, I think I'm going to take the error handling strategy that the, these guys do as well, where if you like mess yourself up and put a bunch of dots there, and you try to do addition, you just show not a number. I like that. If the user shoots themselves in a foot, that's just fine. We don't care about that. So like if someone does this, for example, it's not going to be a number, and when they do operations, it's going to get messed up. Okay, so I want to create a new action for when we do an operation, at least the minus X and that sort of thing. So new action, I'm gonna call this operation. And create the new action, operation, and 10 operation is gonna be the type. And then we wanna call that over here. So again, we're gonna follow the same strat we did with the other actions. We're gonna import it from our modules. So operation, did I say operations or operate? Okay, operation. Just wanna make sure I didn't make it plural. And then on here, I'm gonna call this operation action and then operation. And then we're gonna grab that from our props, operation action. And then that's gonna be called for our on press for our X and for our division, so operation action, oops. And we're gonna do this for our X, our division, multiplication, subtraction, plus and uh, power as well. Cause that is an operation as well. Okay. Clear swap are going to be different things. We'll worry about them at a later date. Okay, so we're going to make a new case. And let's make it at the top. Why not? We did that for that. So case operation. So here we're really just going to look at the top two numbers. And if you take a look at how this is working, we're going to do it the same way. So if I put 8, enter 2, and I hit division, it's not two divided by eight, it's eight divided by two, right? So we should get four. So we're gonna say const, we can call them x, is equal to state.stack zero. And we're gonna say const y 
is equal to state dot stack uh, one and it's going to be y divided by x or y plus x and now we need to parse these things into floats so let's say parse float parse float so now because we're storing them as strings so now we're going to grab the two values make sure they're um, floats and then we're going to say if payload and for this one we actually do need a payload I didn't pass one in here it needs to be the operation that we're doing so op pass that as our payload so now if the payload is pow we're gonna return and we're gonna return this as a string so I'm just going to wrap it in a string template here and we're gonna keep the rest of the stack so state.stack and we're gonna slice the two guys off the end there and because we're doing an operation we're gonna go into our push mode so, and here we need to say what our result is as well. Okay, so we're going to put the result here and we're going to put him in both places, right? He's going to be in two places. He's also going to be up here. So really we should say create the result here. Um, but this is going to be the stack that we're changing. And then our input state we go into push I believe let's double check seven eight if I add them okay so we're gonna slice everything off the end and then we're gonna append eight two at the bottom so whatever the result is so actually we're gonna have one result I was wrong oops so for pow we're gonna call math this is a function from JavaScript dot pow and here we're gonna use our base value is going to be the top value so our top value is y and then this is going to be x give that a save and I think it's barking because I don't have a break because we're using an if statement so break what else is it mad at no case declaration expected oh because I'm using const it doesn't like that I forgot about that you can't do you can't have cons just on the uppercase of this case statement. So math.pow is restricted from being used. Uh, use the exponent notation. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I didn't even know JavaScript had an exponent notation. So it looks like you can do star star for to pow stuff. Now I just want to see if this works. So if I put, and let's double check our result. So. 8 enter 2 if I power that should be what 64 and now if I do 8 enter 2 pal we see 64 here and here we see the green color because we're going to be pushing if we add a 7 uh, but notice we don't actually we actually don't have the code for that right now so let's add that real quick so else if state that input state is equal to push We, we're not replacing, but it's very close to replace. We keep what's on the stack and we just put ours at the very bottom here. So eight, enter two, power, and then a four moves up there and then we're appending. Nice, so and then we can pal that and we're at affinity. <laughs> so we are using, it doesn't like us putting const up here. My plan was to put const and then just do a bunch of else ifs and do different operations per um, which now I don't like because now we're gonna have a bunch of bloat code so I'm gonna write a function up here I'm gonna say const do operation where it's gonna take the stack no it should take the stack it should take um, x and y and then it should do uh, 
and the operation and it should do the operation yeah let's do let's put our if statement there so then really what we're just going to return is right here do operation passing in x and pow passing and then our state dot stack zero and state dot stack one so now this code is going to come up here okay so now whatever operation it do, we're doing it doesn't really matter we're going to do the operation with the first two values and then we're going to chop them off so now up here in our code here Let's make this a valid function. So we're gonna just check what the operation is. And do operations, we need to pass in the payload is what our type is. And what doesn't it like? It's not do operations, operation, okay. So here we're gonna say const x, y is gonna be equal to x, y, so we need to call this something else, a, b. So here we're gonna return b star star a. So let's make sure this still works. Eight, enter, two, pow, 64, we're good. So now we're gonna say else if op is equal to a plus sign, we're gonna return b plus a, else if op is equal to negative sign we're going to return b minus a else if operation is equal to an x and we capitalize the x i believe so then we're going to say return b times a uh, and then we need division as well so copy that okay otherwise we're just going to return I don't know, it returns zero. If we don't meet any of these operations, we can just return zero. That seems fine. Okay, so let's tr check our division, make sure we did in the right order. So if I do 10, enter 2, divide, it should be 5. So 10, enter 2, division 5. Cool. Times 98, add, have you? Let's do subtraction. Let's do 132 minus, we get a 1. 98 times. Uh, let's see what happens when we do division by 0. We get infinity. That seems fine. Multiply, 7 divide. Cool, that's, we don't crash. Uh, plus, <laughs> we now have not a number. Cool. So, our calculator seems to be handling that pretty well. So uh, we can do operations and this whole half of our calculator is done. There's only two buttons we have left, clear and swap. We'll do those in the next video. Um, let me know if you guys find any bugs with this. Um, I'll test it out as well and see if I find anything. Uh, but yeah, next video we'll do these two buttons and we're getting close to the end of our calculator already. It's pretty fast to get this up and running.